Hi, and welcome to Hidden Layers, where we'll show you how some of the advanced machine learning algorithms from Google Research work in a way that's easy to understand and accessible. I'm your host, Lawrence Moroni, and in this episode, I'm going to talk about text-to-image models. Now, we've all seen images like this one, or this one, or this one. And we've probably learned that they were created by an AI model imagined only from a text prompt. And indeed, as text prompts get more sophisticated, the model can respond and create amazing images like this one. And indeed, some of these images are so good, they can be used in a variety of ways. But how does this work? Well, let's take a brief look at the science behind these text-to-image models. It starts with the idea of diffusion, and that's when you iteratively and gradually make an image noisier and noisier, and then train a model to learn how to denoise to get back to the original image. The logic is then if you start with noise, your model can gradually denoise that to turn it into an image that will probably look a little bit like one of the images in your original training set. Its job is to turn noise into an image that matches the statistics or pattern in natural images. Now, what if you go back to the step of creating the noisy image, but add text to this through a text encoder? Then your noisy image has a text label attached to it. And that's the important part. Now, the denoising model can be trained to denoise the noisy image into its original representation guided by the text, and then it learns to generalize text into images. So now, what if we start with random noise and a different previously unseen piece of text, and we decode that? The decoding model is given a bunch of noise with the encoded text, and it will attempt to decode that into an original representation. So it will go from random noise plus a text prompt to a brand new image. Now this image will be small, so we can use other models to increase the resolution of the image and add fine details to it. And that's it. It's the innovative application of something quite simple to produce amazing results. But wait, there's more. This high-level architecture leaves room for a lot of innovation, and the process of denoising noise guided by a prompt is typically called diffusion. It's used by models such as Imagine, DALI, and Stable Diffusion. But that's not the only way to approach this problem, and the point of research is always to further our knowledge. One way is to consider different architectures and approaches to a problem like this one to see if we can get better results. And in the case of Party, instead of using a diffusion-based approach, Google Research tried an autoregressive approach to see what would happen. This approach involved using the type of sequence-to-sequence -sequence model that you may have heard of being used in translations, where a model learned how one sequence of text, for example, in English, would lead to a sequence of text in another language, for example, in French. And given enough pairs, it could learn to map text from one to the other and then ultimately translate between the two, able from the sequence-to-sequence -sequence knowledge that it learned to predict new sequences from previously unseen ones and give us translator apps. So what if we use the same concept to map a sequence of text, say the caption of an image, to a sequence of tokens that represent the visual contents of that image, and then get lots of examples of these and train a model on them? Now, once we have this model, we can give it a set of text, and it will predict the image tokens for that text and reassemble them into an image. And that's PARTY, Pathways Autoregressive Text-to-Image Model. PARTY has shown some fantastic results, and when using sequence-to-sequence -sequence models of increasing sophistication and size, we can see images of much better quality being produced. So for example, look at this caption and look at the resulting images. Note that the caption mentions the kangaroo will hold up a sign saying, welcome friends, and the different sized models had different results here. They all gave us a cool kangaroo in the right place, but it was the larger parameter model which was able to be much finer in its ability to understand the sequence of text to image tokens was actually able to get the text on the sign correct too. Now, you might wanna try some of this stuff out for yourself. And that's the idea behind the AI Test Kitchen. It's an app that gives you the opportunity to get hands-on and learn about, experience, and give feedback on emerging AI technology. 
You can try it out in the links below. It's innovations like these that help drive our understanding of how an AI can be used to learn a representation that maps text to images so that a future piece of text can have an image predicted for it. The diffusion approach and the autoaggressive approach demonstrate the current state of the art, but you can be sure research will continue to find more and better algorithms. And when they do, we'll explain them right here on Hidden Layers. So thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.